What's up freaks? This is just me and today I wanted to take a look at the wheelchair division from the Arnold Classic of 2022 this year. This is the whole entire lineup so not too many guys so at least we can take a look at all of them right? So I'm gonna introduce them because I don't think many people are familiar with uh, the competitors of this division including me to be honest but I found their names the guy on the left finished fourth and his name is Chad McGrary his physique looks amazing we're gonna take a look at some more photos a little bit later on then with the number two because he was second we have Harold Kelly he is an Olympia champion in the wheelchair division and look at this guy his physique look absolutely unreal in this particular pose he looks really really well built really muscular in the upper body an awesome build then we have the actual winner he has his trophy there his name is Gabriel Andrioli maybe Maybe it's Gabrielli or something like that, so I apologize. He is an Italian. And his physique is also amazing. His physique in this photo might look a little bit smaller than the second place finisher next to him. But as we will see later in other poses, he was really well conditioned and he is not small whatsoever. He looked great. And he finally beat Harold Kelly. So that was an amazing accomplishment for him, I'm sure. But then there is the third place finisher too. On the right, hitting a classic physique pose. And to me, his physique is really sort of the most classic of these four guys. He has a great build. His name is Bradley Betts. So an awesome physique on him as well. So now, as I said, let's take another look at Chad McCrary, the guy who finished in fourth. He has an awesome physique. Look at his upper body in the front lat spread, for instance. His lats look great. They are a little bit asymmetrical, but they flare out nicely. And his triceps looks sliced to the bone. His most muscular is also nice. So definitely not something to be ashamed of placing last in this lineup because all all three guys that placed ahead of him had absolutely awesome physiques including the third place finisher Bradley Butts this is the guy that I think looks the most classic doesn't he look like a classic physique competitor in the upper body to me he absolutely does he has a great V taper in the front lat spread also in the back lat spread I think he looks awesome in the, these two poses and his triceps is also nice and he actually has a very nice side triceps pose uh, done in the wheelchair which must be quite difficult to get, get into that position but he just has the angle perfectly he hits it really well so I like his physique I think he is very aesthetic his upper body is I would say on par even with some other classic physique competitors probably not at the olympia level but you know what i mean this is harold kelly and he is so big he couldn't even fit into the screen i couldn't fit all the pictures in there so i made them smaller he looks awesome in his poses as well look at his arms in the front double biceps he has a great pose his arms look really freaky and he also has a nice V taper and quite pronounced in the most muscular pose he looks packed with muscle everywhere amazing his conditioning is quite good too and in the back pose his back looks really thick if you ask me he has an awesome physique and this is the winner Gabriel Andrioli and he looks quite amazing in all his poses too I think he is sort of um, the most balanced of them all because he is 
not the biggest. I would say Harold Kelly has probably probably has more muscle than him, possibly, and Bradley Betts is more classic than him from the top three. Um, but he has the best balance of everything. That's why he was picked for first. He has great conditioning. Look at him in the side chest pose, for instance, and he looks really muscular, but at the same time, he maintains a very aesthetic build, even in the most muscular. And the back lat spread shows a decent B taper. So I think this is definitely an amazing physique. So a massive congratulations to this guy for bringing an awesome package and winning the Arnold Classic. Here is one more photo of the third place finisher and fourth place finisher hitting a most muscular together. They look like they are having a great time. So that's why I wanted to showcase this photo, even though it's not the best quality. Sorry for that. They both look great in this photo anyway. And here is the top two together. I mean, they just look like they are having a great time being on stage. I can I can sort of imagine they are grateful for the opportunity to be on stage and compete, which they probably enjoy. It's great that we have this division at the Arnold Classic as well as the Olympia. I think it needs more support. That's why I partially why I am making this video. I really think it's important that we acknowledge these physiques. All these guys have awesome builds in their upper body and and considering bodybuilding in general is really quite a difficult sport to do it must be super hard for these guys to maintain such an amazing physique while on a wheelchair and i mean they still have enough elan and enough work ethic to to do all the stuff that bodybuilders do while in a wheelchair so i really i think they are sort of the people that you should look up to really amazing this is a physique that a lot of people who are not disabled would really love to have and these guys can do it disabled that's amazing right so all the support to this amazing division Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch some wheelchair division videos and also like and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day.